If you are not thinking of dating anytime soon, I applaud you for making one of the best decisions you could ever make. The Prince Charming and Happy Wife Happy Life narratives, along with many others, have destroyed men more than anything else. When reality slaps you in the face, you've got two options. Either you cry about it, or you do something about it. MGTOWs go for the latter because they don't like imposing their beliefs on anyone, let alone using social engineering to manipulate women or other men. As much as many individuals out there are so whimsical that they can't accept that you can make choices that don't hurt anyone's rights, you can't waste time trying to convince them of anything. Let them be and just surround yourself with people that add value to your life. Why do I say this in the first place? Because social engineering might be one of the biggest enemies modern day men have to face to succeed in today's world. If you're a man, the system wants you to be weak and complacent, pay your taxes and settle for less than you deserve. That's why the body positivity movement is so trendy these days. While a woman with a certain health condition can appear on a magazine cover, a man facing these same issues cannot. In fact, it would be ridiculed. If you want another example of quote unquote equality, there you go. In my videos, I always want you guys to see the big picture and embrace practicality over unicorns. If I know that woman's nature is hypergamy, I won't tell you that women will accept any guy that comes their way. Even though some modern day women might be promiscuous and you can get them to easily come to your apartment, I'm not into promoting promiscuity in any way. When I say that the system wants you to settle for less than you deserve, I literally mean it, especially when it comes to women. The phrase, women's standards are preferences, men's standards are discrimination is very telling for a reason. When a man wants women to tick certain boxes, aka some inner and outer beauty, certain manners and even a certain past, they're called names. More on certain past in a second. However, a woman aspiring to date top tier men is celebrated. Men have been conned into thinking that women are a sort of prize just for being females, and it's been this way for many years. Now that some ideologies promote so-called women's empowerment, this has been more accentuated than ever before. Men are increasingly sick of that and prefer choosing a different path other than sticking to social conventions that hardly benefit them. In today's video, guys, I will address some of the excuses they want you to believe that women are great no matter what they do. In particular, men are now being tricked into thinking that women with baggage are great dating prospects. I'll walk you through this insane rabbit hole and let you know how you can profit regardless. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go deeper, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Elvis. He said, just because a person has lived longer does not mean that they have matured. Modern women and society in general want high value boys that are easy to manipulate. Boys become men maturing from struggles. Elvis, you're absolutely right. A lot of these women have learned to be manipulative and are looking to prey on those who can be taken advantage of. Let that be a clear warning as a man in the modern world to steer clear. And if you are here, chances are you're not falling for their ploys. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 Elvis. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, as it helps a lot. Now, some very simple concepts society accepted without complaint. If you're a man, you might have assumed a long time ago that excuses ain't manly and that you must work to get what you want in life. It doesn't matter your circumstances, past or background, you just do the work and that's it. In particular, most women don't care about your struggles, except for your mother if at all. 
men deal with the burden of performance and must move slowly, one step at a time, climb the ladder of success to finally reach the top. That's why men who want to succeed in life rarely waste time on girls and prefer focusing on their projects. That's indeed a very good approach, and many men are indeed so devoted to their craft that women are now irrelevant to them. However, another idea that society accepts and does not reflect upon is that women can get as entitled as they want even if they don't deserve it or worked for it like a man has. Here's an example. The most disrespectful girl you can imagine can still go on social media, complain about how stupid men are, and still get lots of validation from men. If she's got some beauty, she won't have a hard time finding a man that wants her. It does not matter if she smokes or drinks a lot. Just with her beauty, she can get many men wrapped around her finger. Of course, none of these men should be or are MGTOWs. This is a fantastic card women tend to pull out when they're young, but when the wall comes through, things change a lot. And this is when everything gets even more unbelievable. If you've been raised decently, your parents probably told you multiple times that you had to work for what you want, and expecting everyone to be cool to you is not practical. Son, just forget the sunshine and rainbows, this is real life, and you must deal with lots of problems to become a man of value. Any decent man has probably heard something along these lines. At some point, and don't get me wrong, I'm up for helping men become the best version of themselves. That's why I'm putting out content for you guys. Women, though, tend to get more concessions, either from parents, friends, guys they got on the waiting list, or partners. No wonder why some women start relationships with very bad habits, and as a result, most men don't want to fix them. Fixing someone and trying to play Captain save -a is indeed a very bad choice, so let's play it safe. Having said that, here's the deal. Some media outlets and regular people try to convince you that a woman with baggage, wrinkles, kids from other fathers, low fertility, high weight, and many other defects, yes defects, is worth dating. The prime time is gone, so it seems that these women need something to inflate their own dating marketplace value. When they were busy chasing the bad boys with cool bikes, cigarettes, and other fancy clothing, they completely forgot the goddamn biological clock that starts ticking in their 30s. Now that the countdown has started and the beauty is fading or is completely gone, they need something to justify themselves. They might be like, I was just knowing myself, getting to, you know, getting to know myself. I, I know what I want to know. I, I, I just want a nice guy. My, my past doesn't matter. I, I'm a spiritual girl. If you've heard anyone like that, or for a matter of fact, Brittany Renner who we covered, I'm sure you know all these excuses too well. She banged multiple men, but now she finds many of them repulsive and regrets letting them sleep with her. The phrase, your past determines your future, is ancestral teaching from Buddha, as well as some intellectuals and scholars, but it seems that these modern day women only learned this the hard way. And don't think it's going to change overnight because traditional marriages and couples look pretty much like a thing of the past that will hardly come back. Some people argue that since some women have some experience, they're better because they overcame difficulties. They even say that people with no baggage have not been tested yet. So you can't really see their true colors right until push comes to shove. As much as this sounds fair, it only applies to certain aspects. If a woman has dated multiple men that ended up being assholes, manipulative and controlling, she might not be willing to date them anymore. But guess what? She's likely to have those exact same traits she despised and make you pay for her bad choices. You should not care how ignorant she was and make a concession. It's up to you, but think about it this way. Imagine that you're an NBA coach and know that a player has lots of experience. He had a very good beginning, but then he did not stop getting injuries all the time. Now he's a very fragile man, and to make matters worse, he's got a big ego and does not accept the wasted time going to parties, drinking excessively, and not taking care of himself. Would you want him on your team? Of course not. The cons outweigh the pros, so you'd better pick someone else. The same idea applies to dating. As I said before, the system wants you to settle for less than you deserve. That's why I encourage you to establish high standards and boundaries. Only that way will you succeed in this crazy world. As always, I wish you tremendous success. But now it's your turn. 
what do you think? Do you think some women are just out of their minds? Have you ever met a woman that justifies her bad choices this way? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video guys, till next time.